Unless you're absolutely brand new to watch collecting, you probably have heard of Jody from One More Watch, and you have probably heard that he launched his own watch company. It's called Airbus, and Origin is their very first offering. Judging by the feedback from the customers, this is one of the best value for money watches on the market. So is it actually? Well, let's review it and get to the bottom of this. The case diameter is 41 millimeters. It's about 47 millimeters from one lug to another. The lug distance is 20 millimeters and the case height is about 12.7 millimeters. The watch and the bracelet are made out of stainless steel. It features an all satin finish. There are no high polished parts anywhere on this watch, even on the crown, even on the case back, even these sort of chamfered edges on the sides of the lugs are all executed with the brushing. And I think for the money, the execution is really good. These watches come at around 350 US dollars on the stainless steel bracelet. The crown is located at the three o'clock position. It's protected with a couple of crown guards. It is a signed crown with Airbus logo. It is also, of course, a screw down crown since this watch features 200 meters of water resistance. It also features a screw down case back with the Airbus logo engraved. For 350 US dollars, you actually get quite a bit of value. First of all, you get a flat piece of sapphire crystal with some AR coating. Secondly, you get a ceramic bezel insert that's actually loomed. I will demonstrate loom a little bit later on. And the bezel action is quite satisfying. It sounds really good. It has the perfect amount of clickiness. It's firm and there is very little back play. I've experienced some watches in a much higher price category that don't have as satisfying bezels as this watch does. Overall, the case construction feels very solid in my hand. It doesn't feel like a watch that's been done on a budget. Everything here from the crown action to the bezel action to the overall feeling is pretty great. This origin model comes in a few different color variations. The one I have in front of us is of course this blue dial with the blue bezel. I think that looks absolutely sharp. The design of it harkens back to a little bit of Tudor Palagos, a little bit of Helm watches, this micro brand that I actually never reviewed, but I know quite a bit about. It has these chunky painted on indexes. Some are square, some are rectangle. I also appreciate the fact that this dial has a grainy finish. It looks more purposeful. It looks like it belongs with this design. You have the logo by the 12 o'clock position, origin and 20 atmospheres written closer to the six o'clock position. And also at the six o'clock position, we have a date complication. Now the integration of a date window is perfect. I am a stickler for these date windows. I hate when the date window is out of place when they put it at the 4.30 o'clock position or when they have a weird cutout. Here, the font is bold, it's legible, and it doesn't throw off the symmetry of the dial in any way. I also like the set of hands here. They're simple, chunky, sword style hands, but I like the fact that they have that matte black finish by this stamp. I think that looks really sharp. The second hand also features that matte black finish with a tip in white, and it also features a loomed lollipop, but in this case, it's actually a square. Now, here's the loom shot for your reference. I think the loom is excellent. Once again, I'm not sure how they're able to pack all this value in a watch for $350. As far as the bracelet goes, you have a couple of options. You can go with a rounded H-link bracelet or you can go with the flat H-link bracelet. The one I have in front of us is the rounded one. Now the watch actually comes with a little screwdriver because you use screws to resize this bracelet. It features this engineered scissor clasp with a little bit of a micro adjustment system. There's a button that you push and you get four or five different micro adjustment slots. I think the system works pretty well. It is a little clunky, but for the price, I can't really complain. You also get quick release pins, which makes it very easy to swap this bracelet for something else, like a rubber strap. For example, Airbus actually sells these uh, rubber strap packs. So it comes with two different rubber straps and an NATO strap. And what's important is that both of these rubber straps also come with quick release pins. So you don't actually need any tools to switch between them. And I think on this baby blue rubber strap, the watch actually looks quite sharp. It's probably my favorite variant other than the bracelet. 
I am a bracelet guy through and through. The only thing I would say is that be careful when you're resizing the bracelet with these little screws because I did strip one of the screws when I was resizing it. Maybe I was just a little bit too rough with it or maybe it was the screw's fault. Either way, it's just something that I noticed. On the wrist, the watch looks and feels great. I have about a seven and a quarter inch wrist and I think it fits very well. The lock to lock distance is not too long. So even if you have a bit of a smaller wrist, I think you should still be okay with wearing this watch. Now it doesn't wear any larger than 41 millimeters. I think it wears true to its size. Sometimes watches have a 41, 42 millimeter case diameter, but they were larger or smaller. I think this one wears about as you would expect a 41 millimeter watch to wear. It is a bit on the thicker side, just under 13 millimeters. It's not too bad, especially for a diver watch. Could it be thinner? Yes, but probably not with this movement with this price point. And the crown at the three o'clock position doesn't really dig into my wrist in any way. In fact, it's fairly comfortable to wear all day long. This Airbus Origin comes powered by the Seiko NH35 automatic movement. It's a great introductory level movement. It's not a high beat movement beating at 21,600 vibrations per hour. It features 24 joules and it has 41 hours of power reserve. The rotor noise is not too bad. You can hear it a little bit, but it's definitely not as bad as a Miyota 8 series movement, for example. As far as the accuracy goes, this one has been pretty accurate. I'm getting within five to six seconds per day, which is around what you would expect for one of these movements. I think Jody and Steven did a fantastic job with this watch. There's not much that I can find to complain about. Could the watch be improved? Yes, of course. You could make it slimmer. You could have a high beat movement. You could improve the finishes slightly. You could improve the quality here and there. But of course, you're not going to get it at this price point. In fact, not that long ago, I was making a video about best value for money watches under $400, I think. And to my surprise, there weren't too many watches under $400 that offered a lot of value for money. Things just progressively got more and more expensive. That's why a watch like this is very surprising to me because they were able to fit so many different features that a lot of watch collecting community was asking for in a pretty affordable package. You get an automatic movement, sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel insert, fantastic bezel action. That bracelet is fantastic. You get screws for easy resizing, the clasp features, uh, quick micro adjustments. It also features quick release. Um, I don't know what else can you really ask for within this price point. The only thing that I can think people would not like about this watch maybe is the design. If that's the case, well, there's not much you can do about that. But in terms of the value for money proposition, in terms of the quality, it is definitely all there. I hope to see more great releases from this company, from Jody, from Steven. I think they did a fantastic job with this watch. And if it's something that you're interested in, if you pick one up, I don't see you being disappointed. I appreciate you watching this review all the way until the end. If you liked it, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos like this in the future and leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this watch. Did you pick one of these up? Are you skipping this one? Leave your comments below. I always enjoy reading them. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next time. Bye.